Hello guys, and in this video I will solve three sample questions uh, of a quantitative part of GMAT exam. So let's go to the first one. It says that Ipmel saved more than $10 by purchasing a sweater at a 15% discount. What's the smallest amount the original price of the sweater could be to the nearest dollar? To begin this question, I warn you that uh, the question say anything about the price of the sweater i don't know uh, how much cost the sweater so i will call for example x the sweater's price i also know that mel received 15 percent of discount so I know that the discount that Mel received is 15% of X. And once the question said that uh, Mel saved more than $10, I know that 15% of X must be greater than 10. So we got an inequality here. And to solve uh, this inequality, I will begin dividing both sides by 5. So if I divide 15 by 5, for example, I got a 3. And if I divide 10 by 5, we got 2. So we, we have that 3x here must be greater than 100 times 2 is 200. So this implies that x must be greater than 200 uh, divided by 3 okay so if we divide 200 by 3 we get approximately 60.6060 if we round to the nearest dollar we got that this value here must be 67 so the correct answer of this question is the letter B let's go to the second one in this question we have that <clears throat> five machines at a certain factory operate at the same constant rate. If four of these machines operating simultaneously take 30 hours to fill a certain product order, how many fewer hours does it take all five machines operating simultaneously to fill the same product order? Okay, this question deals about machines and about the amount of hours that machines do a certain job. We know that four machines do the job in 30 hours. Great. And we have to find out the amount of hours that five machines do the same job at the same constant rate. So I have to find out the amount of hours that five machines do the job. I warn you that uh, if we increase the number of machines here, uh, the number of hours that those five machines do the same job have to decrease. If we increase the number of machines, uh, the number of hours, the amount of hours to do the same job, uh, there's no way this number of hours have to decrease. So to put the proportion about this question in a correct way, we have to consider that five, 4 over 5 must be equals to x over 30 instead to consider 4 over 5 uh, equals 30 divided by x we invert here because the quantities involved in this question are inversely proportional okay so we got that 5 times x here is 5x and 4 times 30 is equals 120. So this implies that x must be equals to 120 divided by 5. 120 divided by 5 is 24 hours. So 5 machines do the same job in 24 hours. We know at the beginning that 4 machines do the job in 30 and five machines we got that those five machines do the job in 24 hours so the answer to how many fewer hours does it take five machines operating simultaneously to fill the same production is 30 
minus a 24 we got six hours so the answer of this question is letter C let's go to the last one in this question we have that Stephanie has two and one-fourth cups of milk on hand and make two batches of cookies using two-third cup, cup of milk for each batch of cookies so I know that Stephanie uses two-third cups of milk in each batch but she prepared two bags of cookies so the amount of milk that Stephanie used is four third cups of milk in the beginning of the question said that Stephanie has two and one fourth cups of milk on hand and in the ending note that the question asks us which of the following describes the amount of milk remaining so the remaining milk must be equals to two and one fourth minus the amount that she used that's for third of cups okay to perform uh, this uh, subtraction here we put this mixed fraction in a non-mixed form to do that uh, it's easy so we just have to keep the denominator and we have to multiply the integer part by the denominator so we have 2 times 4 is 8 and after that we sum the value with the numerator so uh, 2 times 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so 9 fourth minus 4 divided by 3 is equals if we consider the least common multiple uh, of 4 and 3 the value is 12 and to do uh, this calculation we uh, we will divide the least common multiple by each denominator and after that we have to multiply uh, to the numerator so 12 divided by 4 is 3 3 times 9 is 27 and 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 times 4 is 16 so the result the remaining uh, amount of milk is 11 divided by 12 cups of milk great note see, uh, that we have to find the correct answer and I tell to you that the correct answer is the letter C why is that uh, note see that this value 11 divided by 12 cups is in fact between 3 uh, divided by 4 cups and 1 cup why uh, because 3 divided by 4 is the same uh, if we multiply numerator and the denominator by 3 we got 3 times 3 is a 9 and put a 9 here and 3 times a 4 is 12 okay so uh, the letter C says that the value that we found is between 9 divided by 12 and it had to be less than 1 cup this 1 cup I can represent 1 as 12 divided by 12 okay in fact note that this value right here 11 divided by 12 is between 9 divided by 12 and 12 divided by 12 so the correct answer must be letter C I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next ones bye